and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. We're going to bring episode 4 to you of our anthology here, our Halloween anthology. This time we're going to rate the Halloween movies. We're going to rank them. Uh, yeah, of what we think are the best. Uh, we're going to go from best to worst. Yep. Number one, Halloween. The first one. What can you say about a movie like this? Every time I watch number one, Every time, it's just like, fuck, this is so good. <laughs> I know, it's like every scene, right? Yeah, it's so good. It, yeah. how can you, it, it was so iconic. The, everything from yeah. the music, yeah. Donald Pleasance, the shots of Michael Myers standing in the, the clothesline, you know, all that kind everything. of stuff. Everything, yeah, on the it's sidewalk. Just, yeah, you it's know? just like, you, it's, it's so good. Yeah. And it never gets old. You can't recreate that. It's lightning in a bottle. Favorite kill? Of course. Ah <laughs> and... The tilt. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's mine too. Uh, another thing Halloween 1 does that a lot of the sequels don't take advantage of, surprisingly, is the breathing in the mask. Right. Yeah. Next on our list, after number one, is... <laughs> Halloween 4. <laughs> yeah. The return of Michael Myers. It stays so true to the spirit of the first one. Exactly. It really feels like Halloween. It didn't bend to the whim of the slashers of the time and get all stupid with the kills. Yeah, it keeps the it keeps the tone, it keeps the atmosphere dark, mysterious. Yeah. You know, you see Michael Myers but not so much that it's ridiculous. They move the plot forward, the story forward. Yeah, yeah, and which yeah. they intended, right? Yeah. And then number five changed things and yeah. they went a different route. Yeah. Favorite kill? I think the Bucky scene. <laughs> yeah, Bucky's pretty good. It's not the, the kill itself; it's the transaction. It's it's it's, right. it's the the uh, don't pull that Halloween shit with me. <laughs> yeah, just stay right there. Yeah. I'm on the phone to the police. <laughs> <laughs> he just talks him. And I would put, and I know you would too, if you actually saw it on screen. Is the cop? It's all tangled. <laughs> That, this guy here, like he's all um, folded yeah, up. That guy would be on the list if you saw the kill, but you don't. Yeah. But, you know, that's an honorable mention is the aftermath of the pretzel up. Yeah, <laughs> you could just picture what he had to go through yeah. to get like that. He'd probably just fucking <laughs> twist them all up. Your favorite kill? Uh, I like Brady when he that's just a good one, fucking... Yeah. And he, not only does he just break his face apart, but he lifts him up. Yeah. You know, with his brute strength yeah. and just breaks his fucking head. Yeah, that's a good one too, for sure. Halloween 2, being the direct sequel, didn't make it next on, on our list. It made it third. Just for us, it's just not so memorable, I guess, or not so fun. And not, yeah, you know, it doesn't, you know, like the fourth one, I think, has more of the Halloween vibe than number yeah, two does. Yeah, that's right. Two, to me, doesn't even seem like it takes place on Halloween, even though it does. Yeah, but then they, they take the setting somewhere else, yeah. right? It's like in the hospital. There's a lot of things I like about Halloween, too. Like, I like some of the characters. Bud? Yeah, I like Bud. You know, <laughs> yeah. Bud's... Amazing Grace, <laughs> come, come sit, sit on, on my face. face. Don't make, make me cry. cry. I, I need, need your pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good characters like that, yeah. but not enough to really make the movie shine. Yeah, true. I yeah. Know. Another thing about number two that I've always wondered is where's all the patients in this hospital? I know. It almost seems like the hospital is completely empty except for these couple of employees and Lori. Yeah. Because you'd think that. Like there'd be they'd mayhem. Hear screaming there'd be and people running around the corridors, know, like you know, wondering what's going on. You know, yeah. yeah it's... I think the setting hurt the movie. Favorite kill? Oh, that the Mr. Garrett yeah. hammer scene. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, bing, <laughs> <Ching! laughs> yeah, honorable mention is get away from him. <laughs> bing! Halloween five. They take number five in that different direction, right? He's got the symbol on his hand, the guy with the boots. Yeah, the man in black, uh, yeah. You know, and they're, they're trying to get, they're trying to start something else. You can see yeah. what they're they're thinking, right? I, I, I like five in a way, because for me it's a nostalgic thing. Right. Because number five reminds me of 
going over to your place when I was a kid. Cause, <laughs> and watching it. Yeah, and watching it. And I like Five because there's a lot of good Loomis moments. Oh, yeah, it, it is good. Like, it it's definitely um, has its moments. It has its moments, for sure. But I think the, the fact that they killed off such a powerful character in number four, being Rachel. Yeah. They kill her off so early in the movie. And so easy. And so easily. It uh, it hurts the character, and I think that hurts the franchise. Yeah. It's starting to feel like like a modern horror movie, like a yeah. cliche. Yeah. You got the cops, it's... the boom, boom. That's ridiculous. That's, and... that's another thing, right? They yeah. don't keep the tone and they don't keep the atmosphere yeah. steady, you yeah. know? My favorite kill for Halloween 5 is when he grabs Charlie! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and he throws him out the window, but his, he wraps his head in that ladder and he fucking oh, right. breaks his neck. Yeah, that one's pretty that good. That's a yeah. pretty inventive kill. Yeah. Uh, there's the pitchfork scene is pretty good, too, I guess, in that. Um, when they're yeah. having sex, yeah. Yeah. A lot of farm implements in number five. Yeah, which I guess is like a fall yeah. sort of. Which makes mm, sense, Halloween yeah. Thing, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Halloween six. This movie, I remember. I remember always teasing Adam as a kid before this even came out. Oh, I saw the commercial for the next Halloween movie that came out. Oh, yeah, Remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was always teasing Adam about that. And Adam would be, his eyes would light up. Really? I'd fall for it. Yeah. <laughs> He'd fall for it like every time. <laughs> and then lo and behold, they actually did release one. I probably didn't believe you. No, the, yeah. And then the boy that, cried wolf. And uh, I didn't even believe it. I was like, holy shit. But then you watch it yeah. and it's like just... A complete disappointment. They killed off the character Jamie so quick, and they didn't get the same actress, and there's a whole bunch of bullshit behind that, because uh, <laughs> yeah. she was supposed to be in it. They're lucky that they got Donald Pleasance to be in this movie, yeah. too. I think they would have done it anyways, really. Oh, probably, yeah. You know, There's obviously dead set on doing it, because yeah. they did it without uh, Daniel Harris. They wanted to continue that that whole cult yeah. thing with the symbolism and all yeah. that crap. And we watched the producer's cut as well as the theatrical cut. Yeah, um, thinking uh, slash hoping that yeah. it would be better. And uh, I didn't, I was thinking it might change where we rank it in our list, and yeah. it didn't. It's, it still stays in the same place. It's extremely flawed, this movie. Yeah. Like, extreme. The stars <laughs> and, like, the stars aligning. And, like, it just, that's not Halloween. To me, no. you know, the simplicity of the first Halloween is what made it work. And you can't overcomplicate something like that. Exactly. I enjoy certain parts of Six. Oh, yeah. I like enjoy the, the dad. The, dad. the dad's funny. Yeah, why don't you take all our goddamn money? Yeah. I'm sick and tired. <laughs> this is Michael Myers. Bullshit. Bullshit. They're running away laughing. Like, <laughs> I showed them. Ooh, ooh big man. Yeah. He's wearing that robe that's, like, way too short. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the dad, my favorite kill in the movie is, <laughs> is the dad where he gets electrocuted and his head explodes. <laughs> and, and again, it's like it shows the it shows what the movie is all about, right? Yeah. Because none of the other movies previous got that ridiculous. Ja Jamie, Jamie. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like that because he like just throws her right onto that threshing machine or whatever, yeah. right? And then he just turns that machine on, right? Yeah. And it just fucking tears her to bits. I put Halloween Resurrection actually after number six. Yeah, I put H2O after. It could have been either or for me because really I sort of disregard both of them as even being part of anything. Just because Michael Myers is in them, I watched yeah. them, but they hold no nostalgic factor for me. I put Resurrection above H2O because I despise H2O. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's I think, a, yeah, it's uh, a tough one. Everything from the beginning with the fake Donald Pleasance. Yeah. The blackest eyes. I know, yeah. Some it's other like, guy doing it. Why didn't they just, just use him? They did not have the rights to take the audio from the original movies. I don't know. Must have been. Um, and the fact that H2O disregards everything after 2. Sometimes you just have to deal with what's there. Yeah, I know. You know, I hate that when you disregard. I'm going to make a sequel and disregard these ones. No, yes. how about you just deal with them somehow? Yeah, work it, the story. Be creative. Yeah. Work with it. Yeah, don't just, oh, no, that never happened. We're just yeah. going to do what we want to do now. And Michael Myers isn't scary in it. He's just, a, you see him way too much. Yeah. 
But that's the thing um, about resurrection as well. Yeah, again, a resurrection. You know? The thing why I put resurrection over H2O, for me, the whole idea of putting people in the Myers house with cameras is like a reality show type thing. Yeah. I think that's kind of a smart and neat idea. I like that part of it. And I kind of like Busta Rhymes in it. <laughs> yeah. In that one scene where the, he's Myers and he meets up with the other Myers. And <laughs> he's like, what the fuck are shit. you doing? <laughs> Get the fuck back, yeah. Joe. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty, and the stupid fight scene. Like, yeah, it's awful. All this but karate and it, everything. <laughs> it's awful, but it's it's one of those things that's so awful it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah. As opposed to... I find H2O, there's nothing awful enough where it's fun awful. It's just... <laughs> It was too Hollywood for me, you know? Yeah, well, they're, they're both like that, yeah, though. Like, That's the thing. Yeah. Like, H2O for me and Resurrection, they both felt like an offshoot of Scream yeah. for me. Favorite kill from either of those movies for me, I can't even remember them to tell you because there's nothing memorable. The only thing memorable for me is when Laurie Strode gets killed in, in Resurrection. It's kind of a neat scene, and it it's weird to happen at, in the beginning of the movie. And so such a throwaway thing. Yeah, like. exactly. It is very throwaway because he spends he spends his whole life basically trying to get trying her. to get her, and then he just kills her kind of so easy almost. And then you know, that almost. should be it. That should be the end of everything. Yeah. Why is he continuing? He's, then he's just randomly killing people for no reason. Yeah. It's like, no, that's that should be the end of it. He's, yeah. he's, he's done it. That's it. He's he's done. We're not going to talk about the Rob Zombie movies because they're not part of the original franchise. No, and you don't really like them anyways. So. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys might have a different list. That's our list. Yep. Happy Halloween. <laughs>